Hi, this is Jeff Haynes with My Two Common Sense. I was right and you were wrong. I was right and you were wrong. If you were one of those people that thought that Apple should be forced by the government to break into that terrorist phone, you were wrong. I told you so. Yes, I did. Check out my past videos, why Apple is right and the government is wrong. And I'll give you the background information of why I'm saying this right now. As everyone's heard, uh, the FBI got into the terrorist phone without Apple's help. And let me tell you, it wasn't the FBI that did it. It was a private corporation called Sun. I think it's a Japanese corporation. And uh, back in the 70s, when I was long-haired hippie playing in rock bands, we had an uh, equipment company named Sun. You know, they made amplifiers and speakers, cabinets and stuff. And I'm not sure if this is the same company or not. Uh, but it, well, it's an electronic firm. Just review. This is why the FBI couldn't get into Apple's phone, the Apple, the uh, iPhone. You have a password. You try it. It lets you try it again if you get it wrong. If you get it wrong again, it lets you try it again. It lets you do that five times. Once you get up to the sixth try, it makes you wait uh, 15 minutes or whatever. I don't have an Apple anything, so I'm just going by what I've read. And each time you get it wrong, it makes you wait longer until you get up to the ninth or tenth try. It makes you wait an hour. And if you get it wrong, that next try, it erases everything on the phone. So that's the problem the FBI had. If they tried the passwords and kept getting it wrong, eventually they would erase the password. And, you know, there's a quadrillion combinations with a four-digit password. There's a multi-quadrillion con combinations with a six-digit password. So uh, that's the problem they had. Well, they went to Apple, and they wanted Apple to write a backdoor into the software so they could get into the phone. Well, the iPhone operating system is totally secure to where not even Apple can get into it. You know, if you like, oh, I, f I forgot my, my password. I'll call Apple and have them help me get in my phone. Apple will tell you, sorry, we can't do that. You're just messed up. You're not going to get in your phone. And that was a good thing because that prevented hackers from being able to hack into the phone and get your private information. Now, the FBI was insisting uh, that Apple write a program to do that. And Apple was saying it would take about a month with their best people to be able to do that, okay? And they said, no, they weren't going to do that. They weren't going to uh, uh, mess up the security for their iPhone. Well, then, you know, you heard the headlines that, like, uh, the FBI got into the phone without Apple, all right? Well, this company, Sun, has this program that they wrote where what they did was it makes infinite copies of all the information on the phone. And then it just starts banging it, you know, combination wrong, combination wrong, combination wrong, combination wrong, combination wrong. Oop, erases all the information. Go to the copy. You know, try the password, try the password, try the password. Keeps getting it wrong, keeps getting it wrong. Gets up to the 10th tie, time, erases the information. And it just keeps going to the, you know, it just keeps bombarding it with passwords. And once it gets up to the 10th one, it erases the information and it just moves to another copy. And uh, probably, you know, having multiple, who knows how many, doing it all at the same time, all the different combinations, boom, 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 boom. And boom, they hit, they hit the password and they unlock the phone. That's a lot different than writing a back door to get into the phone because now the operating system is still secure. You know, a hacker can't get into your phone because there's no back door into it. All right. If you're a wanted criminal, the FBI can go to this Sun Corporation and they can like get into your phone by just bombarding it with, you know, passwords until it finally gets the right password. Well, guess what Loretta, Loretta Lynch has said? They still want Apple to write a back door into your iPhone. And the reason she gives is because there's several cases, one that they talked about on the radio with some big drug pin case that they want to get into his phone. 
because you know there's these other cases that they want to uh, pursue and they need the information on these other criminals phones so they still want Apple to write a program to be able to get in the phone why I've got to ask that question why they have this Sun Corporation that can get into a criminal's phone without writing a back door into the phone. Why? And you know why? Because the government wants the ability to get into your phone. They don't need a warrant if they have a back door and they can sneak in. And I told you so. I told you the government was more interested in opening up the iPhone for hacking that, that they could get into other people's phones and spy on private citizens than they were about pursuing what was on that terrorist phone. And that's the truth. They have the ability to get into criminals' phones now by going to this Sun Corporation and having them bang the password until they finally get it right. They don't need a backdoor to sneak into your phone. But Loretta Lynch still wants it. And you better ask yourself the question, why? Why does the government want to sneak into your phone and see what's on it? Wake up, people. Wake up. We have liberty and freedom in this country. And guys like Bernie Sanders and uh, Hillary Clinton... Not a guy, even though she could be. And a Barack Obama and the left wants to take that liberty away. You better wake up. The link for my original video about the Apple iPhone is down below. Please subscribe. And my uh, Facebook, my Twitter, and my Tea Party site links are down there. Please check them out. There's a lot of in interesting stuff on there. And uh, this is Jeff Haynes with My Two Common Sense. Thank <laughs> you.